In this week's Torah portion, we learn of the corruption that prevailed in Saddam. They were terribly anti-hospitality and would ruthlessly torture poor guests in order to discourage them from ever coming again. The inhabitants of Saddam had fallen so low that Hashem decided to destroy it. Only Lot and his family survived. As they were fleeing, Lot's wife turned around to look at the destruction and died, since she was not worthy enough to see others being destroyed while she was speared. And the way she died was turning into a pillar of salt. Why salt? The minister explains that when poor wanderers came to her door begging for bread, she would give them salt, which instead of soothing their hunger, would rouse their thirst. In their suffering, the victims davened to Hashem to punish her fittingly by turning her into a mass of salt. When at last the time came for destruction of Saddam and Gemara, these embittered prayers were fulfilled and she too was punished. The difference between bread and salt is that bread is considered a staple food, while salt is just added to give it taste. In fact, when we make a blessing on bread, we're absolved from making blessings on each specific food type. Salt, on the other hand, does not constitute a meal. It is useful only when it is combined with other items, but it is useless and even harmful when eaten by itself or when a dish is salted excessively. The difference in the symbolism of bread and salt is expressed in their Hebrew spelling. The word for bread is lechem and the word for salt is melech. Both words have the identical three letters of mem, lam, and chet. The difference is that lechem begins with lamid and melech begins with mem. When the lamid is used as a prefix, it describes action towards something or towards near or drawing near. Thus, lehem means to them, lanu is to us, etc. When people eat lechem together, it usually signifies that they are becoming closer and friendlier with each other. To this day, we speak of breaking bread with someone with connotations of goodwill, warmth, and cooperation. The word melech for salt represents the very opposite. It begins with the letter mem, which at the beginning of a word implies to draw away or to remove oneself from something. Thus, mimenu means from him, mikem means from them, etc. The poor people came to the home of light seeking lechem, and all that represents warmth, compassion, and friendship. But Mrs. Light, through an overabundance of melech, treated them with callousness and cruelty. Even when she managed to escape from the destruction of Saddam, she expressed no grief or remorse. She turned around and watched her neighbors roasting in the furnace and remained unmoved by the catastrophe. Her punishment came devastatingly fast and befitting the crime. It says, B'melech chata u'b'melech laka. By soul she sinned and by soul she was smitten. Her sin was self centeredness and cruelty and her punishment was that she was forever to remain a pillar of salt. Our rabbis explained that Lechem and Melech represent two opposing personalities and attitude towards life. The Lechem attitude are personalities whose life radiate towards others with warmth and brotherhood. Such people, such people feel that they were placed on earth for the service of God and of humanity. They become the builders of communities and the faithful workers for the philanthropic, philanthropic institutions. They are men and women stirred by the vision of a better tomorrow, not for themselves, but for all. And then you have the Melech type, the salt-like character, who only care about their own interests and desires. They become self-centered, concerned exclusively with their own fortunes, not caring at all about what happens around them. And so if we want to be building lasting relationships, let's try to be Lechem personalities. Of course we can dip our bread in a bit of salt. We don't need to forget about ourselves. But the main part of our meal, the staple food, should always be the bread, the Lechem approach, caring about others with warmth and brotherhood. May we all be blessed with Lechem relationships, in good health, filled with happiness and abundance of good.